Opening the coon on a table is a lot easier than opening them up on chains. You can do the same thing on chains or snares, whichever, by hanging them by one foot and then make this opening cut. But, uh, we, we use vice grips here. You don't need it real tight. You're gonna take your coon, clamp him in there. That's a little high than what you want. down that is the right height he's his vent is even with the table it makes it a lot easier the opening cut you're gonna what some people I guess call the money cut we're gonna turn his foot out we're gonna go make this line here to the bottom of his sack here make one this little poke Go right to the bottom, we're going to turn, come to the other side, go right below, and then go to the other inside of his leg. As you can tell, he's got a bro broken bone or something there. Now you're going to go from right between his two testicles, you're going to poke to the bottom of the vent, pull straight out. Now you can grab one on each side, go up. The tail a little bit, go around the vent, now you got him here, you get him open on one side, come to the other side, make a starter cut. Some people you want to, I most of the time I do because sometimes that will cause the belly to rip, especially if they're cold or frozen really cold you're going to take the rod and you're going to put it between the hide and his, the muscle take here you're going to flip it bring it down and in between like so and you can just pull his front pull his leg out you're going to do the same thing on this side come down through take your hand you can feel the bottom of the muscle you can see that poking through come through Pull his leg out. Now you're just going to make a nice straight cut. Nice and easy. Out. That way that leg will be nice and straight when you're done. We'll start the tail just a little bit. Now we will go between, right here between the bone and the, the uh, hide. We'll poke that spike down through there. And I get, just pull him this far, that's it, to the where the base of that cut is. Try to force it and go too far, you'll rip the tail off. This is how we just strip our tails out, had this thing machined out, but they're, they're pretty handy. Pull his tail out, and of course the machine, everybody knows this. Except for me. <laughs> Home skinning, or if you got a skinning machine, is what I like to do. I'll get him ripped and I'll leave the back laterals on, on the coon itself. Two reasons, he'll scrape easier and he'll, you'll leave a little bit more of this on the carcass and he'll freeze faster. Clamp on that nice flat part of the leg. That clamp's a little loose. Bring him up. I always like to snug them up even before I throttle it home. Well, this knife isn't very sharp. Let me get my other knife. I usually always have a heading knife and one that I open with. This one here is my opening knife. Getting pulled here. This coon came through pretty easy. Pull him here. If you get a tough coon, grab yourself a buggy bar or something. Run it up and through. And on my machine, I put these hooks on here. So on a really tough coon, you can wedge down. Makes it a lot simpler. The other thing is you don't need to cut all the way up here. Bottom of the toenails are right here. And the reason why I make my cut from leather to leather side is because every time you cut through the fur, it will dull your blade.
Mmm, grape jelly. <laughs> Make your ear holes fairly large, especially if you're skinning on chains. That way you can get your fingers in here. Oh, this can really got hammered. There's an eye. There's another eye kind of come down through. Since he's bleeding and kind of in shot, I'm going to... And then I'll cut him off. And there you got your coon skinned out.